my friends, it's Summer Ellis. Welcome back to more Wild Season. And it is Summer 16. We are over halfway done with this month. And it doesn't look like anything, is spe anything special is happening today, even though Jessica came in crying yesterday and gave us cake the other day. Hello, chicken. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate this. And yep, just to review, you can pick up your chicken with J and then give it a snuggle with K. That is if you're using the default keyboard controls. And actually, while I'm here, I'm going to obtain all the chicken feed I can because... Um, okay, great. I took out all the chicken feed. Oh, it looks like I have a lot of chicken feed left. But, um, yeah, because you can't actually see um, how much chicken feed you have from this sign because it seems like there's a glitch. It doesn't reflect the number of chickens or feed you have. So I'm just going to carry it on me because I don't want to be caught off guard when I don't have enough chicken feed. And I guess while I'm here, I can water my trees. I don't know if you're supposed to water your trees every day. I feel like this tree is a browner color than it was before. Um, that seems bad, but... Okay, let's go take care of my cow first. And I'm going to do the same thing with my cow. Um, I don't know if pressing J or K increases affection for your cow, um, but I do have a brush, so I'm going to give it a little brush there. And hopefully that increases its affection for me. And yes, same thing with the cow feed. I'm going to take out all the cow feed I have because <laughs> I don't want to run out. Oh, I somehow got 12, even though usually they only let you stack 10. Um, well, that's nice. I'm going to put this feed down here. Oh, it's still stacking to more than 10, so that's interesting. Um, I appreciate it, but it's strange. Okay, so I took care of my cow. And as per usual, I have a lot of watering and harvesting to do. And, oh, you're my day lily seeds. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I have so much to harvest. But um, actually, yeah, I, I was talking to someone before, um, the 8th Ignoramus, I believe. And he's also on YouTube. His he goes by name Proxy. And he's also doing a Let's Play about Wild Season. And he chose a male avatar. So, um, if you want to check out his channel as well, he's actually about the same place I am right now in the game, almost exactly to the day. So, again, if you want to check out another perspective of Wild Season, feel free to see his channel over there. Um, I'll link it into the description. But um, I did notice that his uh, planted farm size is about a third or half of mine. <laughs> and honestly, if I could do summer again, I would not have planted this many crops because it always takes like five million years to water everything and to harvest everything. And I'm like kind of sad because I feel like I can't fully enjoy the game because I'm using up all my stamina trying to water things. And honestly, mining is a much better uh, stamina per orum gain. Or, yeah, or orum per stamina gain. <laughs> because you can mine every single day. You don't have to make an initial investment in the seeds like you do with farming. And um, the ore pretty much ships for the same price as produce does. So again, um, if I could do summer again, I wouldn't have planted this many seeds. I just felt like, like I felt like I had to optimize like the amount of space I had. Um, because, like, if there's land that I could grow crops on, like, why wouldn't I grow crops? Like, that was my mentality. And so I ended up with, like, a gigantic farm, and it takes me, like, what was it, like, 6, 6 a.m. to 1.30. That's, like, uh, seven and a half hours just to, like, water everything. Um, not to mention harvest, which also takes a very long time. So, yep, those are just my thoughts on farming, which is kind of unfortunate because wild season is supposed to be, you know, based on the farming mechanic. It's, at least that's what Harvest Moon is focused on, and this is based off of Harvest Moon. So, um... <laughs> I would like to see some balancing so that farming uh, is less horrible. <laughs> like, um, I'm, I'm sure with like tool upgrades, it'll become less terrible, especially for watering. Oh my god, it's gonna be the first thing I upgrade. But um, as it is right now, it's way more profitable to not be farming, which I don't know. I think because it's supposed to be like the title's flagship activity, it should probably be the best thing in the game to do. Um, and same with animals, they're so expensive. Like for a cow, you need to, ooh, like, there's a bug in my room. Um, you need to buy a brush to um, raise its affection. And you probably need to buy a milk or two once it starts giving milk, which I don't know when that's gonna happen. Actually, let me check my animal profile really quick because I'm curious if my um, cow's affection has been increasing or not. I think I see like a tiny little pixel, so at least brushing is increasing its affection. I don't know if I'll need to get a milker by the end of the season or not, because I believe, don't don't take my word as, you know, law, but I believe that uh, when your animal starts giving milk or eggs or whatever is based on affection. I don't know. The only, the only reason why I say this is because I've been talking to someone else, um, Shiva Kus, Shiva Kus, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly, but um, Shiva Kus had uh, their chicken start laying eggs after 14 days. And Shiva Kus, if you're watching, please let me know if you were snuggling and talking to your, or not, uh, yeah, snuggling and picking up your chicken every day, or if you were just picking it up or something, because I snuggled and picked up my chicken every single day, so I'm wondering if that's why my chicken started laying eggs so much earlier. Oh, Darius is calling. Darius, I'm not done watering, you better pick up. Uh, Maribel, oh hey. I need you to come to the clinic as soon as you can. Randy just swung by and dropped off that reporter's number saying he was willing to talk. Ooh, the sooner we calm up, the better. I doubt anything will go wrong, but just head on over as soon as you can, all right? I'll let you in the bath again. 
later. Is it gonna transport me over? Darius ended the call. And you guys finish water! You better head to the clinic. No! <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll be back in time. I'm just nervous about harvesting. Okay, after sneaking in through the back door, you and Darius call the reporter. Ken, can you hear us okay? Yeah, just fine. Great. Uh, so you two are Bach, Bachmeyer's friends? Bach, Bachmeyer. Oh yeah, sorry, we should probably introduce ourselves. I'm Dr. Darius Jansen. I over, took over Dr. Hayes' position here at the clinic. And this is my colleague, Maribel Samarillis. She uh, bought the farm. You know, the one south of the main town. The wreck. <laughs> it's not a wreck anymore, Darius. Jeez. <laughs> oh yeah, I know the one. Forget the old man's... The, forget the old owner's name. Hasn't been kept up all that well since she passed. Oh, it was a lady. So Bachmeyer said you two wanted to know about Hayes? Why? Well, the two of you explained the situation as delicately as possible. So they just told you she moved on? That's kind of odd. Yeah, so as we said, we're not worried about it per se. We just want to get the full story. Well, honestly, I'm not sure how much more I could tell you. Everything I knew I put in the article. Usually the paper likes follow-ups and such on these sorts of things, but there just wasn't more information. Your article barely covered three paragraphs, and one of those was just about her career. There's only so much you can report on when there's not much information, unfortunately. As they say in the industry, you can only dig as far as your shovel will take you. In this case, I hit a bedrock, a rock bed, almost immediately. I'm not really sure what else you guys are wanting to hear. Ken, could you give us a sec? Just a quick one. Gotta write a script. Uh, yeah, sure. Darius reaches across the pen, er, across the table to mute his phone. Every time we ask about her, we hit a dead end. I mean, with the town, it's one thing, but with people outside of it, people don't just disappear. I feel like we're approaching this all wrong, but what else could we ask? Maybe you two are asking the wrong questions. You unmute the phone. Oh, apparently I have an idea what to ask. Uh, Ken, we're back, I think. Which questions should you ask? Did anyone have any theories as to what happened to her? Who exactly in town did you talk to about her disappearance? What exactly can you tell us about her life before the disappearance? Well, we already know about her life. That was pretty much her career background. I'm curious, um, who, who Ken talked to? Who in town? Well, I mostly spoke to Mayor Underhill. Not surprising. He was really busy with the police, though, so his wife was the one who took me around town and helped me find any potential witnesses. Rosalind! Yeah, I've done a lot of reporting on the horse and dog races in the past, and she's always been the one to show me around the track during those, so I know her decently well. And she was helpful? Oh yeah, definitely. And who are these potential witnesses? Just people who had seen her the day before. The nurses at the clinic, the mayor. Oh, and the host's daughter. Denise? <gasps> Denise? Yeah, all their testimonies were pretty run-of-the-mill, though. She seemed fine, a little stressed, but it was a w rough week at the clinic. That sort of thing. Nothing that stood out. Is this why Denise is so weird about it, because she's one of the last people to see her? I see. Did you talk to anyone without Rosalind? Without her. Beyond a few really general questions, no. She and the mayor were pretty clear that the whole situation jostled everyone up, you know. It was it brings such a small town and all. So you're telling me they asked you not to talk to certain people? No, no, nothing like that. They just asked that I didn't go to every door and badger people, especially since the police had already done a fairly decent sweep of everyone. Did you ever get the police support? Yeah, it seems like they found even less than I did. I see. You added interview pool notes in your notebook. Which question should you ask? Oh, are they gonna let me ask every single question? Well, I'm not going to ask the third one. I'm going to ask the first one first. Any theories? <laughs> Siri thought I was talking to her again. Siri, you need to calm down. I'm just playing a video game. <laughs> well, the police closed the case up pretty quick, that's for sure. Yeah, I noticed that. Same reason the article wasn't that long, to be honest. Just no evidence was found. I'm pretty sure they closed the case saying she simply skipped town. Where to? Who knows? So they really found nothing? Nothing at all? Nada. Some gave accounts that Hayes was kind of an odd duck. Very spontaneous. Her nephew even said he wouldn't be surprised if she just decided to up and leave. Who's her nephew? Oh, Gavin. That's right. Oh yeah, that's right. He probably works for you now, right? Yeah, even though everyone I talked to was pretty surprised by the whole thing, they didn't put her just up and leaving out of the equation. But Gavin seemed really upset when I asked about Dr. Hayes. I don't think she would have just left like that if he was that upset about it. Now thinking about it, I'm pretty sure the whole squirrel says she had mentioned wanting a bigger practice. That's what we said we were told. Maybe that's the co consensus now? I don't know. I haven't been around Bedford in seasons now. The Hayes disappearance was actually my last job in the area. Any reason for that? Job offer doing better work up in the city. Able to move to some closer suburbs for good schools for the kids, you know? Right. You added theories in your notebook. Okay, so I guess they're gonna let me ask every single question. Her life? Well, there's not much outside of what I wrote there in the article. Grew up in Bedford, went to undergrad and med school at the same university. Moved home to open Bedford Family Clinic. Has been pretty quiet in the med community since. Not much to say, really. At least that I remember. This is slightly off topic, but I heard that you're not supposed to go to the same schools, like for your undergrad and grad and like any other postgrad stuff. Um, I don't know why that is, honestly, but it seems like everyone I talk to, like every single grad student especially, they're always like, oh yeah, I was told not to, you know, keep going at the same university, and I don't really know why. Maybe it's just better to have diverse perspectives. I don't know. 
but, oh, I do remember something that stood out. I was uh, looking through the paper's archives for anything back when the trail could have still been hot, and remember seeing an article on the clinic from a year or two back. Do you remember what season it was published? Sorry, no. In it, though, she mentioned that she planned to keep the clinic in the family, and, despite some other job offers, had no plans to leave Bedford. So, opening a bigger practice was pretty much a lie. She said that? Yeah, that made me rule out skipping town for a while, but that quote was the only thing I could find that didn't support it. And believe me, a year ago, I would have said something very similar about the paper, but here I am, and it honestly wasn't a lead at all. Hmm. You added Dr. Hayes' previous statement in your notebook. Well, I guess that wasn't a worthless question. Man, for people who said they weren't all that concerned about this, you sure are doing the same amount of legwork that I did. Uh, med school taught me to be thorough. You missed one little thing, and, uh, you could completely misdiagnose something, you know? Now that I'm thinking about it, though, and looking back on it like we are, I remember something else that se now that seems really strange. Really? What? Well, Denise, she... Shit, got a word call coming in just a sec. Ken, wait, oh my god! No! <laughs> Ken doesn't answer! He put us on hold! Are you kidding me? You don't just put someone on hold when you're about to reveal something potentially this important to them! What is this, a movie? If it is, it isn't a good one. We at least got some information though, right? Dr. Hayes specifically said in an interview that she planned to retire here and leave the clinic to her descendants. Well, no wonder Gavin wasn't jumping for joy when I was hired. Rosalind also kept Ken rein reined in while he was talking to people. He might not have felt that way, but if we know anything about Rosalind, is that she has a way of thinking, making herself seem great before she bites you. And apparently Denise even mentioned that Dr. Hayes could have left for a bigger practice. The same thing was told to us, Mar told to us. Maribel, this really does seem to be town-wide. Okay, but why is Gavin so upset that Dr. Hayes, like, Dr. Hayes' position was packed with Darius? Because it's not like Gavin is qualified, he's, like, he only has a nursing degree. Or, I assume he has one since he's a nurse here. Like, what other family does Dr. Hayes have? Like, <laughs> if she was going to pass it down to someone in the family, like, who could she have even passed it down to? All these people could easily clean up a murder scene. What? Darius! <laughs> but keep the same story and all know about it? That implies that either everyone's okay with this or being made to be okay with this. And the latter definitely doesn't seem to be true. All this just doesn't make any sense. Guys? Yeah, Ken, we're here. Just got told I have to report to the office. Gotta go. Good talking with you guys. No! Tell us about Denise! Wait, Ken, what were you saying before? It was nothing. <gasps> Did Rosalind call him to shut him up? What? Look, want my advice? Stop looking into it. You're just hitting dead ends. Stop looking into it? Hitting dead ends? You're a reporter for God's sakes. You just said that looking back on it, you realize that the whole thing is weird. Who just called you? Don't call me about this again. It was Rosalind! Rosalind called him! Ken hung up. What? What in the world just happened? How did Rosalind know, though? <sighs> Was it because I said this was a movie? Did I somehow jinx us into being in a movie? That wasn't even subtle. Someone obviously knew he was talking to us. People not wanting us to disrupt the peace in their quaint? Honestly, stupid village? That's one thing. Oh, did Randy rat us out? Randy was the only one who knew about this. But going as far as preventing us from talking to the reporter who reported on it? It's like everyone in the world is in on it or something. I don't get it. Look, I need some time to regroup or something. I don't know. As of right now, the guy's right. We are just hitting a bunch of dead ends. All the evidence we've gathered is circumstantial at best and a bunch of coincidences and inferences at worst. We can't prove anything. Not even that Ken took a phone call that told him to stop talking to us. I'll let you know if I think of a different approach, but for now, it'd probably be best if we just pretend we believe Rosalind and go from there. Believe me, I'm not happy about this either, but I'd rather not stir the pot if it's just mud drying inside. That won't help us at all. I'll call you later, alright? Maybe we can go out for drinks and wash away all this weirdness or something for at least a night. Have a good one. Mmm. You leave Darius's apartment disheartened. It seems the investigation is suspended, at least for now. It'd be best if you just concentrate on your work until something changes. But what's going on with Jessica? Oh my god. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening, but I know I need to get back to watering. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think, I think my tree is browning. Do you have to water your tree every day? Oh man. I didn't think you had to, but I guess I know now, so... Am I gonna have to water it even when it's out of season? Will these trees last out of season? They better! I spent a lot of money on them! Oh my god, okay. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get back to watering and harvesting, and I'll come back to you guys when I'm finished, okay? Okay guys, I just finished harvesting and watering everything. I had to eat a couple cucumbers as per usual, and I also stored a few in my fridge. Um, so assuming that the fridge doesn't totally glitch out in the next, I don't know, patch update episode, um, I'm gonna have some fruit. I have one pear, um, one egg, uh, five cucumbers, and three corn in my fridge right now. So assuming that it doesn't totally glitch out, um, I will be able to have some things in my storage for later. So it is 6.40 p.m. I'm gonna go see if I can chat with anybody to see if anything changes, anything's different. And Maya's in. Let's talk to Maya. Oh, hello, good evening. Nothing suspicious. What are you doing here? Yeah, it's rude. I'm very curious about Jessica because 
the last time I talked to her, I mean, it was the same day after, like, the event happened, but I talked to her, and it seems like, ooh, these are, these are different. Okay. Really good sweets client, Randy. Hey, has anyone seen Will? I need to give him something. Can you help me out? Thanks. The Terra Trout. Uh, okay. They, why is that orange? Fine, I'll accept it. Yes? Really good sweets. Okay, so I need to find Randy at one point or the other. I'm guessing for terror trout, you need to like fish a trout and then somehow that will fulfill the quest. I don't know, I couldn't see the quest description there. Um, this just seems like a bas basic fetch quest. So that should be easy as long as I can find Randy because <laughs> who knows if I'll still be able to find him. I'm gonna move my mouse out of the way. And I don't think Randy stays late at the end. But I wanted to check anyway. Nope, Rosalyn. Hey, Lily. Oh, I wanted to talk to Lily, not the table. <laughs> Yo. I want to talk to Lily. No. <laughs> Just want to talk to Lily. I hope you've been having a good day today, Maribel. I hope you stop by the shop. <laughs> if you're... <laughs> I'll stop by the shop as long as you're staffing it. Jeez, Lily. <laughs> yeah, I think most people mention Lily's... Um, schedule as like the thing to kickstart their schedule if they get messed up because wow i enjoy watching you struggle a lot more than i thought i would how interesting thanks linda you are a sadist ciao no i think most people talk about lily for the kickstarting the day example because um like we need lily for a lot of things like we need we need her for basil like for the quest and we need her to buy uh, saplings and flowers and stuff so okay linda <laughs> all right buddy okay Let's talk to Mary. She's friendly, if not completely aware of things. So late. You don't like leaves, do you? Why do you have that assumption about me? Why do you have all these assumptions about me? I, I fulfilled your quest. <sighs> it looks like a nice cup of tea. It's Alice and the other guy. I always get the two old men confused. I think because they both have striped, like, waist thingies. <sighs> Larry is so rude. I like the other guy better. The purple guy. Your own farm now? That's fine, but on the streets? Heavens no. Can't have that. Yeah, I'd clutter up everything. It's fine if I mess up things on my farm to pass out there. <laughs> okay, Alice. Working late. Have you seen this? Okay, whatever. Let's visit Diego while we're here. I haven't talked to Diego in a while. I like Diego. Diego's a nice guy. He gave me a fishing rod. He, like, doesn't even have a door on his building. <laughs> On his place. Oh, he's not in? Okay. Never mind. Never mind. He's not out here. Okay, let's stop by the kids' residence and then head on home for the next day. I hope it's not a glitch that she doesn't seem to be reacting to me. Hey, there she is. I see William. I know where- William is very easy to find. Randy, I don't know why you have trouble finding him. Hey, you're up pretty late, huh? And you are still acting like everything is normal. <sighs> Denise again. Okay, let's talk to William. Oops. It's okay. I like Jessica. Oh my god, I want to talk to William! Lily seemed very fine catching fish during the fishing contest, though. Oh my god! Jessica! I just want to talk to William. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're one human. Oh no. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna go home. Just gonna go home. It's kind of weird that although Diego was nice to me and so was Luana, I could only ask Diego about um, Dr. Hayes. They're like, even though they're both part of that older generation, like, I was still only able to ask Diego. Oh. Okay, well, I honestly don't know if how long this episode was. So if it ends up being a decent length, I will just end here. Thank you for watching, but otherwise I am going to keep going. You're still disheartened from the conversation yesterday with Ken and Darius. You wonder if you can come up with another way to get information on Dr. Hayes that doesn't involve other people. There's a knock at the door. You better get it. Well, it's not Rosalind, because she would just come strolling in. It's Denise. Oh, Maribel, you're here. Of course I'm here. I'm glad I caught you. It's six in the morning. Look, um, this might sound a little weird, especially coming from me, but I'd like to ask you a favor. 
This pharmacy, since no one had sold it for years, let alone lived here, it had some, become somewhat of a public space, I guess you'd call it. It was used for all sorts of things, most of which we've managed to move to other locations since you arrived. <laughs> Sorry for messing things up, guys. It did host something that, well, I'm not sure it could be anywhere else. I'm sure you've seen all the fireflies that gather here at night, right? And that way, and that way more seem to fly around here than anywhere else in town. I haven't seen any. Well, as far as I can remember, the Firefly Festival has been held on this farm. It's an important night here in Bedford. Everyone comes out once the sun goes down, and it's a tradition to want to catch fireflies in a glass bottle. You know, like a jar? You give the jar to your significant other, and, well, it's kind of silly, but it's supposed to represent your feelings to that person, you know? I'm not sure if it's something people really do anywhere else, but Bedford upholds a lot of its traditions, however outdated, and I want to make sure it stays that way. So what I'm asking you, Maribel, is... Would it be okay to have the festival here tomorrow night on your farm? Please? Denise stands before you, thoroughly embarrassed that she even has to ask you for anything. Why is Denise asking me? It should be like Rosalind, begging on her hands and knees to have the festival here. It's hard to say no, even though she has been so hostile up till now, and especially after that dubious phone call yesterday. But maybe by helping out, the people around you will come to trust you more, and you might learn why everyone's hiding so much about the doctor's disappearance. Well, I'd love to. What? Really? It'd really be alright? Thank you, Maribel. I don't really know what to say. Okay, now that that's settled, what do you need to know? Oh, okay, so the festival usually starts around 6 p.m., you know, once it gets dark? It doesn't have an official stop time, but I'll make sure that everyone gets home at a decent hour. Oh, and I'll take care of all the preparations and everything, so you don't have to worry about a thing, okay? I think that's it then. So I'll see you tomorrow night, alright? So the Firefly Festival is like Denise's thing, I guess. She seems really excited about it. Oh, and Maribel? For you to do this despite of everything. Well, thank you, really. <laughs> I thought Denise had really short hair, but after seeing her in alternate costumes, I wonder if she just like puts it in a bun or something. Wow, I am just standing here. I cannot move. Okay, so it seems that the Firefly Festival will be taking place tomorrow night here at the farm. What a strange turn of events. Blistering fireflies. Ooh, save game. Okay, I was like, why is it freezing? Um, so I do have to help Denise set up tomorrow at 5. She said it starts at 6 and that she would do everything. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, so I need to make sure I talk to Randy today. Wow, that talking to Denise took an entire hour? Jeez. Oh my god, I think my tree is dead. I didn't water it for a while, so I thought, ugh, oh, that's 2,000 right there that I messed up. Hi, chicken, I love you. And let's put some chicken feet down. Yeah, okay. Hey, my other tree is going, though, my cocoa tree. <sighs> so sad. Whoa, why isn't this working? I need to refresh my can. I did hear that some people experience a tool glitch where they aren't able to use their tools. It doesn't seem to happen to me very often. It mostly happens when I try to water trees, I believe. Can't tell if I'm watering it or not. Okay, there we go. And then all I have to do to refresh it is like take the watering can to the uh, well and then refill it up and that seems to fix everything. Um, I don't know if that's something everyone else has experienced as well, but other than that. See, I can't tell if I'm giving love to my cow or if it's just like indifferent to me pressing J and K. Hopefully it likes being brushed. Oh shoot, I wasted stamina. <laughs> okay, so here's my cow feed. I hope you're happy, cow. Wait, I wanna check my cow's affection. Oops. It looks about the same to me. But there's definitely orange there. My chicken loves me. Okay. Wait, but maybe I should buy the milking tool right now because what if the cow gives milk at a, like a earlier time than the chicken? I could be missing out on milk right now. I didn't even think about it. Well, first of all, I didn't have any money, but I also just didn't think about it. Man, I really, I want to build up a buffer with my money though for next season. I'm very nervous. I mean, I'm pretty sure like the cucumbers are going to give me a lot. You know what? I should buy the milking tool now. I should buy the milking tool now because I don't know when a cow starts giving milk. I would assume it's the same kind of thing with the chicken. Like you have to get it to a certain affection first, but I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. So I should buy a milking tool now. Okay, so today I need to buy a milking tool and I need to talk to Randy. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go do that after I water and then I'm going to take a quick break and do all of those things. So I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, I'm in the middle of watering and Darius is calling me. Just let it finish watering, you better answer it. Hey Maribel, it's me. He seems a lot happier than you thought he'd be. Hey, so I heard Maya say something about your farm hosting some Firefly Festival or whatever at your farm tomorrow. Is that true? It is? That's, man, that's fantastic. I'm on my lunch break. Think you can run over real quick? Pretty sure I figured out what our next course of action should be. I know, way sooner than we thought, but I really... You can? Great, see you in a few minutes then. I gotta finish watering, Darius! Who do you think I am? As if this day wasn't already weird enough. I need to do my job, Darius! <laughs> you said to go ahead and go to the clinic. I guess I can look for Randy while I'm in town after this. Alright, alright, so not gonna lie, I took myself up on that offer of going out drinking last night. Sorry I didn't invite you. Seriously, I'm a terrible drunk. Slobber all over myself. Usually express unrequited love to complete strangers. Not exactly pleasant company. Anyway, while stumbling home, I got an idea. Just gonna tell you outright, but hear me out afterwards, okay? 
I want to break into Dr. Hayes' house tomorrow night. Uh, you know the house kind of by the kids' place to your left if you're heading away from the square? Ends up that used to be Dr. Hayes' house. Or rather, it still is Dr. Hayes' house. Took a look through the windows a season or two back. I had never seen any lights on in there, and lo and behold, the place used to be hers. Everything's still in there, just covered by a bunch of sheets. Actually, the whole reason I even figured out Dr. Hayes disappeared was because I started asking questions about the house. Um, Darius, that sounds really illegal. What? I wanted to know why they put me in some one-bedroom apartment above my freaking work when there's a perfectly good house just right down the road. Anyway, the house has apparently just been sitting there for seasons now, with all her stuff inside, potentially untouched other than some light cleaning and a few white sheets. I'm not expecting to find dry blood or anything if there was. It surely was cleaned up before the damn police arrived. Why is he so sure that she was murdered? But maybe if she had any reason to believe something was up, she might have left something there saying so. Something someone would have looked over. Like, I don't know, a diary or something? We've made no progress with anyone living around here. Why not ask the one person who had no reason to lie? Dr. Hayes herself. Okay, listen, Darius, I am hosting the Firefly Festival, so I can't help you break into someone's house. Look, I know it's a little out of our comfort zones breaking into a person's place. Man, as I said before, if I were missing, I want someone to look for me, even if that meant going through my personal stuff, you know? It's right that the town has put up a wall that neither of you will be able to get past without a nude approach. <sighs> but at the same time, do you want to give them a reason to arrest you and force you both out of town that way? Breaking into a deceased woman's house would certainly be cause for that. I don't know if it's a good idea, Darius. It not being a good idea? You're probably right. But unless you got other another idea that doesn't involve us dropping the thing altogether, it's what I gotta do. I don't think I can explain it right, but after li leaving a life of constant struggle, after living a life of constant struggle, I wanted a little peace, and well, if finding out what Dr. Hayes gives me that, then I'm gonna go for it. I get that you don't want to be a part of it, though. Don't worry about it. Once I take a good look around, I'll tell you what I found, alright? I'm not sure if it would be a good idea to allow Darius to break into the house alone. Even if you're present on your farm tomorrow during the Firefly Festival, you most likely will be held accountable if he is caught. If you hesitantly decide to accompany Darius to the house tomorrow night- No! <laughs> you're going to come? Really? Thanks, Mirabelle. It means a lot you're, you trust me about this, even though you don't know if it's a good idea. Really, thanks. I don't want to do it! <laughs> Alright, the plan tomorrow is pretty simple for the most part. Stick around the farm until the festival's fully underway. Sneak out when you can and meet me. I'll already be there, alright? Do you know where the house is? It's in the residential district by where the kids and Gavin live. Uh, north of the host farm and south of the port. It's a one-story, brown kind of bungalow. Yeah. So I'll see you tomorrow night. Hopefully we can get down to the bottom of this. Anyway, I'll let you get back to work. Later. Darius! No! <laughs> this is the opposite of what I want! You'll be breaking to Dr. Hayes' house tomorrow with Darius! For now, though, it's best to focus on your work. And I have so much work to do. What will you do for the rest of the day? I have a lot to do, you guys. I can't just sit around on lunch breaks. Farmers don't have normal lunch breaks. <laughs> Where's Randy? I need to talk to freaking Randy. He better be here. Is he down in the square? Uh, no. Okay. I don't, I don't know Randy's schedule. Is he usually in the mayor's office if he's not in a... I don't know where Randy is. Randy's going to be harder to find than Will. I know exactly where Will is all the time. Um, well, here's Mary, doing who knows what. Happy afternoon! Sun's out, okay. I don't know where Randy is. Randy would not be at church, I don't think. Is it the general store? Or maybe the inn? Okay, well, William's here. I would have thought Dr. Hayes would live in that, like, brown shack right by the hospital. What am I doing? I'm trying to go to the inn. Because it's, like, super close. Like, why would you walk all the way from the residential district if you just live right next to your hospital? Uh, okay, Randy's not in. I'm gonna go back to my farm and water. Man, it's gonna be tight tomorrow because I need to make sure that I finish everything by 5 p.m. So nobody better come in and distract me tomorrow. I have a lot to do, okay, guys? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well, honestly, I think my tree is beyond saving. I might have to chop it down. I don't want to. It was cost so much money. I don't know what else to do, though, because I've been watering it, you know, two days in a row now, and it doesn't seem to be getting less brown, so I wonder if it's just <laughs> wilted now. I really hope not, but um, I'll catch up with you guys after I finish watering and harvesting. Okay, guys, I finished harvesting and watering, and while I was doing that, I remembered I forgot to check the calendar, and I also remembered I forgot to buy my milking tool. So many things happened. Um, I still need to find Randy, too, but it is Mary's birthday, actually, today. So I'm going to give her my one pair, and hopefully she likes it for her birthday. Actually, give me one second. I'm going to check the wiki because I don't want to give up my one pair if it's going to be something she doesn't like. <laughs> okay, guys, so it seems like Mary decently likes fruits. So let me put away my scythe so I don't accidentally pass out. So I'm going to find Mary. It's too late to find a brush now, and but maybe I can stumble upon Randy as well. I doubt it, but maybe I can find him. Uh, wait, is it Mary or Maya's birthday? <laughs> Sorry, guys, let me go back and check. Tab 
over to the next season, and today's 17. It's Mary's birthday, but Maya's birthday is... I swear it was also this month. Maya's birthday is the 29th, okay. You guys, for some reason, I have so much trouble when people's names start with the same letter. Like, their names could be totally different. Like, Mary and Maya are pretty close because they both start with M-A. They both have Y in them. So, like, at a glance, they kind of look similar. They're both pretty short names as well. But, like, even if it's a really long name, it doesn't matter. Like, I still get people's names confused. I think usually I just, like, look at their first letter of their name, and I'm like, oh, it's that person. Like, I don't bother reading the rest of the name. I don't know why. It just happens. Mary's not here! Mary, I wanted to give you a gift. I don't know where Mary's family lives, actually. I assumed it's back here. I mean, Alice lives up there, it seems like. I don't know. Okay, now I'm, like, super bummed out. <laughs> where else would she be? I mean, it's already kind of late. It's 9 p.m. They won't let me go in there. Randy is not just hanging out. That's uh, such a bummer, too, because I saw Mary earlier today. And I was like, oh, there's Mary. And I didn't talk to her. Nobody's in at church. Someone in the graveyard at this spooky hour? Nope. I feel like something's gonna happen at the graveyard because why else would you have one? <laughs> it seems so ominous. Wow, is it just like too late for anything now? Mary doesn't live in the residential district down there, I'm pretty sure. No, she's still not here. <sighs> Fine. I guess I can go scope out where the bungalow is. This is not the bungalow. This is Luana's house. He said it was by the kids' residence. Is this a bungalow? No, this is Gavin's house. Is this the bungalow? Is it this one back here? He said it was by the kids' house. Okay, nobody, <laughs> nobody wants me to come visit them at this point. Unless this is the bungalow? Someone live here? I don't know. I'm gonna have to try the door of all these brown houses. Uh, okay. Well, that's the end of today. I have a lot of open items that I need to close. Uh, gonna see Darius tomorrow. Gonna see the, the Firefly Festival. Hopefully I can buy a brush from Steven. Need to find Randy. Need to harvest everything before 5 p.m. I have a lot to do. And I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget. But, that is the end of today's uh, video. Thank you for watching. This has been Sam Realist playing Wild Season. I hope you have a great day today. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others.